Welcome to a lightning round edition of Free Preset Friday! That is just a little taste of what you are getting today. I worked together with fellow Resolve YouTuber and friend of the show, Jay Lippman, to create the most powerful, the easiest, the best screen pump effect ever. Let me show you how it works. I already have it loaded onto my system here. A link will be in the description to send you to Jay's channel where he has a video about this effect and he is hosting it to download himself. I have some gameplay footage here and before I actually apply an effect, I'm gonna right click on that and go to new compound clip. That's to work around one small bug you might run into if you have a mismatch uh, in the frame rate between the clip you're using and your timeline. Uh, you don't want that normally, but it's always a safe step just to make this a compound clip first. But after that, I can make sure my effects library is open, come to effects, turn on the supply company and scroll down and we get screen pump. Drag that right on and things get crazy. The one thing you need to know about this effect is that whatever music you wanna use it with, you need to know the BPM or beats per minute of that music track. I have this music here. It's got that good uh, driving drums, that's great. But we need to know the BPM. And for that, I'm just gonna pull up um, just this BPM tap uh, calculator dealio. There are tons of these all online. I just searched uh, BPM tap and this came up. So I'm actually gonna drag this audio out a little bit so we have more than enough time. I'm gonna play this, switch to that calculator and just start like clicking along to that tempo. Cool. So it looks like we've got a tempo about 120. Now I can go back to that compound clip that has this effect on it, open my inspector, jump over to effects, and you see uh, we have all these custom controls. And the first one is BPM. I can put in 120. And then now uh, we'll see how this lines up without any special lineup. I'm just going to drag this audio clip under that compound clip. And I am just on a 1080 timeline. So this is uh, close to real time playback, depending on how complex or high resolution your scene is. Uh, you might always want to make sure this is cache. One way to do that is right click and come to render cache fusion effect filter and select the individual effect. Um, that should toggle it on quite a bit. And then um, whether you just let it sit or you play through it, it will cache that. So you're guaranteed to have smooth playback. I let that cache. Now we can look at timing. We have a little bit of a ramp up in the audio. And then the first beat hits around here. So I'm actually gonna move this up so we get a little bit of that first hit right here. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, hey, we've got a screen pump effect in time with our song, great. Now we can customize. Select the clip, back in the inspector, we have all these options. The first one under BPM is this master effect intensity. You can always ramp that up and things get pretty crazy or bring it down if you want something a little more subtle. But then we have this whole host of extra options underneath. If you toggle off all of these, all you will be left with is that basic scaling in screen pump. Still looks great, absolutely has its place. But then we have all these other options. We can add a little shake that ramps up just when it is the most zoomed in. It's a great way to add a little bit of intensity. We have rotation, we have some color options like just pumping up the saturation, uh, the gain, so you have that like light flash in there. We also have hue, which is just pushing that to a random spot on the hue slider if you wanna get funky. And then also this directional little blur that comes in as well. There are so many different combinations for these and even you can have variety in how you space out your beats. I could very easily come into this BPM, take this down to 60 and yeah, it would only hit. Now that rhythm is half, but it, it still fits the music, but just at a slower pace. You've got tons of options. And this is all drag and drop, super easy. Make sure you nail your BPM, figure out your timing, customize, it's great. <laughs> Previously, this would be a whole lot of individual keyframes and timing and then layering uh, effects on top of that could get pretty complicated. Uh, but I think we have made this about as simple as it can be. So if you wanna know more, absolutely head over to Jay's page. A link to that video will be in the description. He's also hosting this plugin for download if you wanna grab that, toss him a few bucks. I'm sure he would appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.